Well, isn't this a paradox here? If Cinderella's shoe fits perfectly, then why did it fall off? Because it would have been too easy to end the story at that point. There would be no drama. I know that. Right. So what I'm saying about that is when, when, when you see through things, when your bullshit indicator is working so that you don't completely accept teachings, spoon-fed teachings, without any kind of analysis, especially a critical analysis of things that don't fit or where the reasoning doesn't work for you or there's contradictions in it. How do you deal with that? So my way of saying it is I don't repudiate yoga in toto. I don't get rid of all of it. Don't throw the baby out with the bash wa- bath water. But I complete, it, I complete it by wrapping it in contemporary terms because that's the only way any technique stays alive. There's no magic that makes it so. It's that each generation has practitioners who take up the banner, embody it in themselves, keep it alive, right? Like a lit candle lights an unlit candle. So someone gets the fire going in you and then you generate it, pass it on. So I hit, okay. Ah, now look at this. First of all, I hope you realize this guy has his left leg behind his neck like he's sitting in uh, Ekapada Sirshasana. Oh, nice, huh? But the thing is, like, he is not just holding it for four minutes. I think he's in this pose for years. He's trying to wrest the boon from the gods. First of all, do you like his outfit? You know that I say accessorizing is everything. It's fantastic. Look, he has the white thing on his forehead indicating uh, he's created the death to his cerebral, his prefrontal cortex. He's not thinking out of his left brain only. He got the uh, the red thing here, so you know he's a Vaishnavite because the Shaivites would have the thing across the head. Right? Dig his reggae breeds. I mean, his re- reggae braids, right? Bob Marley, he's dying. He, really nice, right? And then look at the color coordination. You know how big, ask any of my students, they'll always tell you he goes tone on tone. He always makes sure even like the color of his earring, he's unbelievable, right? Look at this guy. He has the yellow, the gold, the off-white, fantastic. And then did he go to Mario Tricciocchi to get the beard in the tricolor? He's, even his beard is like tricolor. I love it. Anyway, the idea is criticize fossilized ritualism and excessive asceticism. Some stuff that they used to do, we don't do anymore. We don't sacrifice human beings or children or even animals. You got to know. All right. It may have served the purpose at the time because we don't really understand the difference between what we think of a sacrifice and how the ancient people saw this, saw the sacrifice, thought of sacrifice. But for us, some of those things were fucked up. And we're beyond that. 